The scan bin count feature can be used for cycle counts by scanning. On the mobile menu, select the bin count menu item. You should see a list of bins for the warehouse that is assigned to you. You can use an iPhone, iPad, or any Android device as your mobile scanning device. What you see on the left of the screen is just a mobile device simulator. Scan or select the bin, or click on the scan button next to the listed bin. You will see items shown in blocks with two possible colors. Pink, nothing has been counted for the item. Green, the item has been counted. In each of the blocks, you will see item number, item description, expect, this is the expected quantity in the bin, count, this is the quantity that has already been counted, UOM, or unit of measure. There are two ways to scan the item and unit of measure. You can scan the item number, then check that the UOM is correct. If not, close the pop-up and scan the item again. And the next UOM will come up. You can also scan the item's GTIN number. The GTIN barcode will directly indicate the UOM you are counting. Enter or scan an item that is not lot tracked. Enter the quantity and then click on Save. Enter or scan an item that is lot tracked. Enter or scan the lot. You can also click on the lookup button to see all available lots for the item and select from the list. Enter the quantity and click save. You can double click the item block to see the counts for the item and the lots. If you make a mistake, you can click reset to undo and start again. To reset counts for all items in the bin and start over, click Actions, then Reset All. When all items for the bin have been counted and the cycle count is ready to post, click Actions, and then Post. Preview all adjustments for the bin, then Submit. In Goldfinch, click on Refresh. Now you see a new cycle count journal has been created and posted for the adjustments of the bin. Go back to the mobile menu, the bin list page. From this mobile menu page, you can continue to scan and count other bins.